guys, welcome back to another video. This is Motivation for Young Christians. Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Bible Study. This is episode 45. Today we're going to begin into John chapter 20, verses 1 through 10. Today we're going to begin with a prayer by me, and we'll be led by me. If you guys can, just be by your head and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you, we worship you, God. We pray that now I'm about to get into the time of your word, God. May that you have a blessing and cover the word, God. We pray that you'll be able to reveal different stuff to us through the scripture, God. And have a great understanding and comprehension of your word, God. And be able to apply your word to our lives and get a good lesson from it, God. We praise you, we thank you, we love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. In today's scripture, we're going to be talking about the resurrection. Today is Saturday, and yesterday was Good Friday, Jesus was crucified. And Monday, Easter is coming up, and of Jesus being born again. So this is a perfect time to talk about the resurrection. Now we'll begin into the scripture for today. John chapter 20, verse 1 through 10. Verse 1 says, Early Sunday morning, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. She ran and found Simon, Peter, and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved. She said, they have taken the Lord's body out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. Peter and the other disciples started out for the tomb. They were both running, but the other disciple ran Peter and reached the tomb first. He stood and looked in, saw the linen wrapping laying there, but he didn't go in. Then Simon and Peter arrived and went inside. He noticed that the linen wrapping lay in there, while the cloth that had covered Jesus' head was folded up and laying apart from the other wrapping. Then the disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed. For until then, they still had not understood the scripture that says, Jesus must rise from the dead. Then they went home. This was the reading of John chapter 10, verses 1 through 10. Now I'll begin into my thoughts. I've heard this scripture so many times in my life, and as now as I'm reading it, I'm getting a new understanding of the word. But while Jesus was living, Jesus told his disciple what was going to happen in the future. But often the disciple didn't under, understand. And then after a certain situation occurred, then the uh, disciple realized that Jesus was speaking in um, to the truth. And this is a perfect example like it mentioned in verses 9 that now they understood what the scripture said that jesus must risen from the dead jesus uh told them that this was going to happen but they didn't really understand and the scripture also mentioned it which is good but a key takeaway that i got from today's scripture it was that jesus had to die in order to fill god's order and, and to multiply his people like a plant when the seed is put into the ground and water it begins to rise up and multiply jesus had to die and raise up from the dead in order to, to multiply his people so just like a plant after the seed is going in and the plant is watered the seed is watered it's able to grow and multiply and jesus was able to do this he was able to multiply his people right after his death and that's my key takeaway from the scripture and that was my key takeaway from the scripture this scripture is very important next week we're going to be covering more about what happened uh, after the resurrection and stay tuned next week for episode 46 in order to see what happens more after the resurrection now guys we'll be getting into the closing prayer for today heavenly father we thank you we praise you we worship you guys we thank you for sending your only begotten son into this world, not to condemn this world, but the world through him might be saved. God. We thank you so much for sending your son, God, that his sacrifice was able to use to multiply your people, God. We thank you so much for sending your son that now we're able to be asked, we're able to ask for forgiveness through him, God. And now we have the Holy Spirit of God. We just thank you so much for sending your son. We thank you so much for having this planned out, God. We just thank you so much for everything that you've done and everything you're going to continue to do, God. I pray that you bless and protect everybody and they're going in, they're coming down this upcoming week, God. We love you and we thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. This is it for the episode 45 of Bible study. We just went over John chapter 20, verses 1 through 10. Next week, we'll be covering verses 11 through 18. Stay tuned next week. For that, if make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're new, turn on your post notification. That way, anytime I upload YouTube, we send you a notification. This is motivation for young Christian. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>